Welcome guys to another tutorial from helpvid.net I'm going to do something a little different today and uh, something I come across at the weekend when I had a lot of space taken up my computer that was unaccounted for and uh, the computer was running a little slow a little slower than usual so I came across this thing and I thought I would just put it in a video and throw it out there uh, because I, I, I pretty much think it would help some people out there uh, if they're experiencing the same problem. So the first thing I'd done was I knew that I uh, had to defrag my disk. So if you're running on Windows Vista, you come into the start menu and just type the word defrag. So that's D-E-F-R-A-G. And it opens up this disk defragmenter. So you just click OK and click continue. Now in here you can actually click defragment now to defrag your hard drive. Now what that is, is say you're browsing uh, and you see an image you like or a background you like or you've downloaded some music or anything that you download. Say you save that onto your desktop and then at a later date you then move it into your music folder or your images folder or your documents folder or whatever the case may be that has left a file on your desktop that is invisible so what your hard drive does when it goes to target that image is it will go to your desktop where the original image was saved and there will be a very small file there on your hard drive with the path the file path to where that is now stored. So if it was a picture that was stored, uh, that was originally downloaded and saved on my desktop, it was then moved into an images folder. Any time I go to get that image, your computer will automatically go to the desktop where it was originally saved. It isn't there, so it then refers back to the hard drive, and the hard drive as well will be a small file stored, telling telling the computer that that picture is now in the images folder. So when you defragment it erases all those small files and just kind of refreshes your desktop and erases all those files and tells your hard drive that that image is now in the images folder. So that's what defragmenting does and it's uh, maybe good to do that once a week. I've got mine scheduled for, to run 12 o'clock every Monday. However, that isn't the thing that I come up with. The thing I come up with was here. If uh, you click on how does disk defragment help, if you click on this, and we'll just open this up, and down here it says delete files using disk cleanup. So if you click this, now I cleaned mine just the other day, so I'll not have a whole lot there to dump. So you come into here but it says click to open disk cleanup and then files from your whole computer click continue and what this does is it will scan your C drive if you've got an external hard drive or your whatever drive you choose. So you click OK and it will then scan and tell you how much uh, space these temporary files are taking up on your computer. Now, the other day when I'd done this, I had 11.3 gigabytes. 11.3 gigabytes. So this is it. It gives me a breakdown here in this box telling me that it'll empty your recycle bin, uh, just temporary internet files. Every time you go into a website, uh, most websites store a very small file. So, just all them, I can get 39.6 megabytes because I cleaned it the other day. I'm just going to click OK and delete files. And that is basically it. Uh, so, I hope this has helped and uh, remember, if you've been using your computer for a long, long time without doing this, I think I was about maybe eight months and I came across this and it gave me all that free space. So just something different to throw out there in case it helps someone. Thanks for watching and until the next tutorial, stay safe.